This Masters Weekend Predictions Edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet ten dollars at WinBet and get two hundred dollars in free bets. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Coors Light. Get Mountain Cold refreshment delivered straight to your door via Drizzle or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash SGP. That's CoorsLight.com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by Stable Duel. Stable Duel is a horse racing DFS app where you can play free and paid games for real cash prizes. You can win as much as $40,000 with one entry. Head over to StableDuel.com to get started today. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to $500 in bonus cash. Head over to PropSwap.com or download the PropSwap app today. And of course, make sure to download the SGPN app. Your home for all of our free picks and podcasts. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy. You're listening to SGP. Wait, hold on. Say it again. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog, Sean, I don't want to take credit for it, but I may have willed tiger woods into a grown <laughs> ass man performance by wearing the red on <laughs> wet Tuesday when we previewed the masters. Now we're back. Yeah, we, this is the first time we've ever done it. Feels like the masters step up the game. Do a. Uh, little I feel like we might have done it last year. No, I, we definitely we did. didn't. Yeah. Okay. See we you. did. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> joining us to talk <laughs> masters is the co-host of the Golf Gambling Podcast, who just interrupted uh, Boston Capper. What's up, Capper? What's up, boys? Don't you remember I called in from like a? I was at a Mexican joint. And I did it. it yes. was a phone hit. Yeah, I, I do remember you calling in. You had a very horrible connection. Yeah, uh, it was driving me insane. I think I just blocked that out in my mind. <laughs> of course, we're brought to you by WinBet. Uh, bet big, win bigger with WinBet. They have a. The, of course, you should have gotten down and still plenty of opportunity. Get down on their golf weekend special. Bet a hundred dollars on uh, golf between uh, now and the end of the week, Sunday. You'll be entered to win a golf experience at the only golf course on the Las Vegas Strip, the Win Golf Club. That's right. So, if you bet 500 bucks on uh, some sweet outrights here on Saturday or Sunday, you will get five entries, a thousand, ten entries, and so on. They also have a hundred percent deposit bonus in the Win Bet Casino and bet ten dollars, get two hundred dollars in free bets. So much action over at Win Bet. Offer subjects to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state where playthrough winbet is available. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. I so wish that when Florida would get its shit straight so I could take part in these awesome just yes. promos. Do you know how many entries I would have in to go back to the win <laughs> and go play that fucking tournament? You would oh, be, yeah. you would be living there uh, knowing your handle. So <laughs> oh. yeah, I mean, again, uh, you know, well, we so, keep up this momentum on the golf gambling podcast. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't see why we can't get a couple foursomes. K- kudos to the golf gambling podcast reviews through the roof downloads yeah. through the roof. Um, I I will take umbrage mm-hmm. with some of the advice in the DFS show. It's I, still, imme- it's still immediately, only Friday, bro. Immediately, still only Friday. well, I mean, some of these guys uh, <laughs> that you suggested swapping in have been uh, since eliminated. So, uh, uh, I said to Kramer immediately after I go, they killed my lineup, yeah. but I'm still playing that lineup <laughs> because if this lineup, that would be the that would be my worst nightmare is to give out a million dollar lineup on yeah. the air and to not have it hit. It's like losing $20 million. I could not sleep. So I of course entered that one as well. It's dominating yeah. my other lineup, but uh, let's, let's get to the the thing. Everyone's talking about what's I, that tiger woods. Yeah, we got, we got a, we're contractually obligated to talk about tiger woods and, and we should, I mean, I'd imagine if I was a golf DJ it would be really annoying to have to watch every shot tiger takes. It's, it really, it, it is. It, it's a great story. It, like he showed up great on Thursday. 
I faded him in a matchup today just because I was like, there's no way his body's going to be able to hold up. But he played it okay today. He played fine. He came out really cold, right? And there seemed like he got warmed up a little bit, got a little lucky, hit a couple of miss hits, especially uh, he, he should have went in uh, the creek, but he didn't. He got lucky and then he made a nice wedge play and got it going on the back nine. So that's a good for fucking Tiger. Great story. Um, please, God, give me coverage of golfers that I have money on matchups <laughs> on and the rest of them over the weekend. Well, I mean, I, that, that's the nightmare. I mean, that really is the nightmare. I, I think the uh, books got murdered. I mean, WinBet I saw tweeted out eighty five percent of the money, eighty four percent of the tickets were on Tiger to make the cut. Well, hole of one happens. That's probably not good for the books. Yeah, they're yeah. they're probably getting crushed. And Scheffler, I, I don't know what um, <sighs> you probably know this stuff better than I do, Capper. But probably. Scheffler. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I I know he was the favorite, but I didn't know if he was getting the majority of the action. What? Where? No. So so right in the in the golf gambling world, like ten to one, twelve to one, we just skip it, just yeah. because it's it's not an EV play, right, Ryan? Right? Like you're, ah. you're playing, you're playing, you're, you have 150 guys. Yeah. Exactly. You have and, 150 uh, guys in a normal tournament. And you're telling me that this guy is 10 to one to beat all these other guys with all these other variables. Like it takes a lot to take a stand, to have a guy with a one, like a 15 or a four or a 12, never mind a fucking 10. It makes like, you, you remember how great tiger is. Cause he used to be like even money versus the field. Oh, and these yeah. fucking yeah. things. And some yeah. of that's obviously betting volume, but it is crazy to see. I remember back in the day, majors, it would be tiger of the field, you know, minus one ten essentially both ways. And now it's minus one ten both ways for him to make the cut. Uh, yeah. Again, cr- crazy circumstances, but, but, him coming off that accident. But back to Scotty Scheffler. I mean, what a what a lump on a log. I mean, this guy is sitting in, you know, sitting around hanging out, being a cool kid in high school, and some chicks like, Hey, you want a blow job? He's probably like, oh, okay. So yeah, Scotty, yeah. right now, okay. as we tape this oh, okay, late sure. Friday night, Scheffler. <laughs> In the lead at minus eight, then there's a short. Feel like I want to shake him like my <laughs> oldest daughter. I'm like, stand up straight with some posture. Like you're losing a cup. You're gonna be a hunchback when you're older. <laughs> yeah. What is he? He's got he, no if, confidence. If this he guy. wins, what is oh, he gonna? What he's is he got? Gonna, Plenty of fucking. He's winning the right Masters by five strokes, bro. He's got exudes a, he's, no he's confidence. He's literally won three of the last five events. He's the number one golfer. He's in the world. coming he in a insanely five hot. Stroke. Lead, Sean. If I walked up to the first tee with that against that guy, I would sense I would second sense weakness. <laughs> He's gonna get like chicken nuggets for his <laughs> master's dinner. Oh, it's simple. It's easy. Okay, guys. Uh, Let's just go home. Okay. So after Scheffler, uh, Schwartzel, uh, Sunjay M, Lowry again, yeah. Yeah. M and Lowry both in my uh, original DFS lineup. I gave out. Low- <laughs> I told you to stay with Lowry. No, don't, I know. Don't, I know. Don't blame yeah. me for that. I talked <laughs> you off of M and something else, and I gave you Peter as my uh, bad. It I mean, Fuck. Woodland, it's gambling, bro. Woodland, <laughs> Woodland was the anchor of my lineup. Everything yeah. else, all the other guys. Well, and Kepka too. Jesus, how do you? Yeah, Kepka's gone too, buddy. Let's call. Yeah, it, let's, let's call let's, a time. Let's out. take a moment and talk about Brooks Kepka. How does this guy miss well, the cut? Hold on. In the future, before we even ask that question, in the future. If Brooks Kepka has made a completely yes. life altering decision to put streaks in his hair, maybe bring that to our attention. When he took his I hat off. I would have been off. so far out on the oh, Brooks yes. Kepka team. 100. Brooks Kepka. Are you kidding me? It's one thing in a vacuum to be like, oh, cool. Brooks is wearing the microphone for Netflix. It's a whole another thing to realize he's put blonde, he's bleached his hair. It, it, so it took- was, it was worse a couple of weeks ago, guys. At t- at, it was a TPC or API. It was one or the other. It was completely like, uh, like Eminem back in the day. Yeah. Like it looks it, like it, me in eighth grade well, in uh, fairness, pretending to be the real slim shady. That you, shit's well, coming you had, back. You had, you had sun streaks. You didn't actually <laughs> yes. bleach. It. I couldn't afford the, the sun kiss or whatever. I know, bro. I, would, I know. When he took his hat off and just these like weird blonde locks came tumbling down, I go, mm. I bet on this guy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Brooks was a, a, a complete all this time, disaster. All this time, I thought he was different than Bryson. Same guy. <laughs> Brooks Same just guy. couldn't putt, man. Brooks, I mean, his putter just went ice cold on the back nine for on the first round all through today. I, he just couldn't putt worth a yeah, shit. Yeah, he I seemed mean, he seemed happens. to f- survive the first round, and I was like, all right, maybe I'll figure it out today, but. Yeah, uh, complete opposite. What are some of the more uh, other other surprising stories? I mean, Tiger getting to the cut. You know, kudos to him. Yeah, uh, the guy can't walk. I, <laughs> it's I, impressive. I, look, I'm not. I'm. I'm definitely a Tiger homer, and I'm definitely not like a, a deep golf nerd. So this is obviously probably a hated take, but he beat a lot of really good golfers, and the dude doesn't look like he could bend over. Like when he put his clubs down, he like tossed them down because he couldn't even bend over all the way. 
every time he leaned over to like fix a pitch mark, I was like, stop doing that, man. Bucks, don't do that. Stop doing it. <laughs> hey, you got a caddy. It? Like, yeah, I guess what I'm saying is th- this dude somehow still beat like a whole bunch of really good golfers yeah. <laughs> looking like, yeah. like he can't swing a club. Well, I mean, I mean, and one well, of the guys, God. One That's of the guys he beat was uh, Bryson DeChambeau, who uh, claimed that the Fragile. Masters, in his mind, was a par sixty-seven because all the par fives he can get to in two holes, and he he's a guy kind of coming in banged up, which you really have no excuse. I mean, Tiger Woods in whatever sort of state he was uh, crashed his vehicle, almost uh, killed himself, almost lost his ability to walk, and he's making the cut. Bryson, I don't know, whatever he aggravated his disc because he works out too much. What, so it's what not, it's not only just that with him, right? So they like so they took away the greens reading books, and you could look at uh, Bryson's history at the Masters, and it's not good, right? Yeah. So if you look at how he's doing the rest of the season now, right, regardless of injuries, um, you take away the greens reading book when he's doing whatever fucking math he's doing in his head to try to figure out where to put it. He can't do it. And uh, Steve has a great take as far as, cause all his, all his clubs are the same length, which is really weird. But if you, if you get him off of a flat golf course, where you're going to have, you know, a ball above your feet, a ball below, below your feet, it really fucks him up and he's, he's not able to do anything. And it continues to be proven that way. So soft. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I saw him grimace multiple times because of a boo-boo on his hand. <laughs> and, and, and meanwhile, tiger is walking around with like a steel rod in his back <laughs> Yeah, and, and he's not grimacing. I, yeah, I mean, he's got a fake leg and his neck's been fused like Peyton Manning's three times. I and mean, he's, and he's probably hooking up with a cart girl on the side. Like the guys, uh, the guy is just a machine. Sir. Perkins waitress. <laughs> I'm a, you know I, did, I, I kept looking at Colby when we were watching the masters and I go, he's probably, you know, when he's, you know, they they call them swing thoughts where you're just up there dressing the ball and you're trying yeah. to clear your mind. He probably just goes to the back of that Perkins restaurant <laughs> thinking about his caddy and bringing the uh, waitress in there. Like that's his happy place. Yeah, you for- were, you were super active in the Slack channel today, man. Oh yeah. Okay. I wasn't fucking, uh, I was busy doing shit and trying to watch the game and pretend to work at the same time. So I went in there today and scroll back through like, I, oh, yeah. I was like, holy shit. Sean's all up in this motherfucker. Getting chirpy yeah. yep, golf, go. Sean. I, I mean, <laughs> And let's never forget t- Tiger Woods uh, does have a longer dong than Michael Jordan. I mean, that's, it's an important benchmark. I mean, Long this, gosh. I mean, I I'm actually starting to change my take. I they're showing every shot that Tiger Woods is taking because this might be the greatest athletic performance we've ever seen. Wow. I mean, let's hold on. Sorry. Tiger Woods making the cut at the masters is the greatest <laughs> athletic performance we've seen in 2022. Oh my God. All right. I mean, it's only April. So yeah. I don't know. What other what other uh, yeah, storylines hasn't taken the field? Oh God, come on, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, what other, what other storylines from the Masters yeah. have we that we've that we haven't hit on so far? How about a decky man? Fucking yeah. like everybody was yeah. avoiding a decky man. Like uh, what, he would he withdrew. Uh, what's his neck gonna do? Everybody stayed away from him in DFS, and now he's actually been able to go out and actually defend his master title. He looked real good today, mm-hmm. man. He's a, he's you know he's five back like everybody else who's in the hunt because Scotty is just. Fucking can't miss a pot to save his goddamn life, and yeah, I mean, look, Hideki's a great story. Like, I uh, love that. Um, I don't know. I mean, you think about it, like Xander shit in the bed, Brooks mm. shit in the bed, a bunch of these big cats, like Brooks, like I don't know, I, uh, not Brooks. Oh yeah, uh, Bryson. Everybody expected to to miss the cut, right? People who bet on this all the time, but but Spieth, I think this is the first time he's missed the cut. Like it's it's wild. Like a bunch of huge names got cut. Like a bunch. Uh, what what about on the positive side? Uh, Justin Thomas making a late run, came into yeah. the day plus four, ended uh, minus one overall. A couple like back to back birds. Yeah. He was looking uh, pretty good. And he missed a bunch, man. He would burn the edges on at least four of the shots I was looking at, and he was my favorite outright of the week. He might be a little too far back, you know, seven. But look, the weather's going to be fucking insane tomorrow. It's going to be it's going to be super cold um, to start off for Georgia, right? And it's going to be windy again. And the guys in the afternoon got really lucky, including Scotty. Like the, it was supposed to be thirty mile an hour gusts, um, but it laid down in the afternoon. Like the guys who were in the middle. Really got screwed. Those, those those were the guys who had the biggest the 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 biggest gusts and the most westerly wind. Um, so Scotty kind of got lucky on that point. Um, I mean, look, it's Scotty's to lose at this point. I mean, but it, the five shot lead in golf 
over the past season and a half has been like the kiss of death. Uh, it's like a three shot, uh, a three goal lead in hockey. Like it's almost impossible <laughs> to hold on to for whatever reason. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's slippery. It's like the Falcons being up 28 to three. And that's, that's, right. That's, right. that's right. Well, and, and five strokes over uh, two days. Isn't crazy. All right. We're going to get to some outrights, maybe matchups, any other sort of bets. And if you're watching live on YouTube, youtube.com slash sports gaming podcast, you have some questions, thoughts, feel free to chime in. Oh man, Ryan. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm always on between golf, uh, NBA, opening day, MLB. We got into it with a, a film crew that was filming outside our office. And while we were getting into the argument with the film crew, I thought, you know what? I need a moment to chill. I need a moment to relax. Thankfully, I knew as soon as our argument was over, I could crack open an ice cold Coors Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill. I've been drinking Coors Light for literally decades. I I love it. Uh, we stock the fridge in our SGPN bar because it's cold lagered, cold filtered, cold packaged. It's 95 degrees out today. Walking around, when you get that kind of heat, you know what can cure it, and that's an ice cold Coors Light. You can get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com/sgp. That's CoorsLight.com/sgp. And remember to always celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. We've also uh, IP Vanish. Been working overtime because God's Eye uh, runs on IP Vanish. If you got a Fire Stick, laptop, whatever you're doing on the internet, you want to make sure it's secure, encrypted, and IP Vanish can make that happen. Can hide your location. It is the official VPN of Sports Gambling Podcast Network. We love it. We use it all the time. Uh, unlimited devices doesn't slow you down. Best part is seventy percent off their yearly plan and a thirty day money back guarantee. Just go to ipvanish.com slash sgp and claim your seventy percent savings. ipvanish.com slash sgp. Right now, over on WinBet, Capper Scotty Scheffler is plus one hundred. Part of me just wants <laughs> no part of that because I I want to I, yeah, no. I want to watch some interesting golf these next yeah. two days. Is there a value or is there no. value in taking the best no. golfer at plus one hundred? No, no, <laughs> it's golf. Who knows what he's going to do tomorrow? He can go out and bogey the first five, get a couple bad gusts, and I mean, look, like I said, it's his tournament to win. He's going to need to help people to for somebody else to win this tournament. But like I said, uh, you know, uh, a five shot lead going into the weekend has been the kiss of death. I think it's happened three times already where a guy with a 36 hole lead with a five shot, uh, with a five shot lead has lost it and not won the tournament. Who can so, get stupid hot tomorrow? Cause I'm looking at round three leader markets right now. Yeah. What do that's you, okay to talk about? Sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, How many shots is realistic? It like, is the wet, like, could the weather be so crazy? It's going to be bad, man. It's, it's going to be like real bad. Like, so I would say what I've done the past two days and Steve has done um, as well. And we did this at uh, the PGA would fill one too, when the weather was real bad books, hang these fucking numbers where it's like uh, shooting over 71 and a half, 72 and a half. I just, it's like the first half on this college basketball. I blindly bet the fucking board over and <laughs> oh, I like it, this. And, and, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because it, I mean, there was like, what nine, 10 guys on the pod today. So what we had one, I don't want to count on air, but it was like, yeah. it was like nine or 10 guys on the pod today. So if you bet, if you, if your book gives you access to bet 15 to 20 guys over pa, mm. then just blindly bet them all. Like it worked out today. Steve went like 14 and seven. I went fucking like 12 and five based on like each book's availability. Um, and, and we just to be clear, the you're, you're taking over par over, over, over par on each individual golfer. No, I was just trying line, to get capper right? to say pa. 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 Yes, over pa, over pa. <laughs> the uh, yeah, because and, and look, they'll hang different numbers on different guys too, right? The shittier golfer, they might give you like seventy three and a half, but that's only plus two. Like it's not that bad in these terrible conditions. Is I don't minus, care what it is. Is my, is seven strokes too much? For for what? Wait, like, I mean, what's the question? Tomorrow, like to make somebody up. shooting seven under? No, it's to someone make up seven strokes to take the th the round three lead. Yeah, can someone come from minus one? Is that so? Too wait, far? are you talking wait, about Tiger? Wait, so what's the question though? Is the question like the first? So is I'm it, saying they, they have to they have to make seven strokes. Or are you just trying to bet somebody? Who's I'm saying seven that strokes behind? I'm saying Justin Thomas, Colin yeah, Morikawa, okay. and Will Zalatoris are all sitting there at minus one. Uh, Thirty-three to one for Justin Thomas, forty so to one from Morikawa, and sixty-six to one for Zalatoris. You can even throw in a guy like 
Uh, Corey Connors also sixty six to one. Neiman eighty to one. My, my point is, if that's the if we now think I know your question, yeah, yeah if that's the range. Like, do we just sprinkle a number of these guys and hold? Like Morikawa and Z- and Z- uh, Zalatoris are playing together. Maybe they can get hot to get. Uh, is that is that a thing? So Morikawa gained a bunch of strokes putting over uh, the last two days, so which he doesn't like tip, which okay. he doesn't typically do. Cross him off. So um, fade Morikawa. So I wouldn't even say that. I'm just just saying. Like I don't know if I don't I don't know if. I didn't like him coming into the tournament. He's done better than I already thought he would have. Um, and look, I mean, the fucking guys won two majors already. Like, oh, who the fuck am I? Can, like, can I ask another on. question? Do, yeah. it, so I, I I stumbled into another uh, opportunity to fade Scotty Scheffler. Do we okay. take Scotty? Sh- I can get the field at minus one fifteen. Minus one fifteen for, for the, the tournament entire or tournament, tomorrow, right? For the tournament, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Minus one fifteen. Everyone but Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> yeah, also, that bad. is a fun way to watch golf. Just rooting for <laughs> everyone else to do well and Scotty <laughs> Scheffler not to do well. Yeah, I mean, look, I, look, I curse guys all day long when I watch golf. Like, I, I'm like, go oh, in the I'm, fucking I'm water. Like, and, well, so also just in your DJ mind, y- you know, you're, you're, you can latch on to one of these guys doing yeah. well. So if, if yeah, someone fucks we up, should, we should bet this. Yeah, right. right? Yeah, uh-huh. you should, you should do that just for the fun of it. So, but here's, it's, yeah, like, once again, it just goes. He's kind of like, calling me a pussy. I think. <laughs> I, no, I'm not going to call you a pussy. It's just, it's just a, it, like guys who gamble on golf, like minus 115. No, like that's nice. matchup. That's matchup pricing. Like, Doesn't move the needle. <laughs> no, that's ma- like that's that's what I'm looking at a matchup. Like and even then, I'm like, nah, yeah. do I really want to pay that. Like, All right, I don't know. Uh, Capper, let's uh, let's talk about some of these matchups. Who are guys you're looking to fade? Who are guys you're looking to ride here? Uh, if if your for book tomorrow. offers some uh, matchup stuff, yeah. What do you what do you like for round yeah. three matchups? Yeah. So for tomorrow, DJ looked mm. weird today, man. That he had his driver in his bag all day, and then when he took it out, he was fucking whipping it left. Like I don't know what was going on. And then you got Cam Smith, who's a who's a wizard around the greens and could just well, yeah. One- and their 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 matchup price is Dustin Johnson versus Cam Smith. Cam Smith minus one twenty, DJ plus one hundred. What yeah. would you do there? I, I would I'm, almost lean oh, DJ, Cam Smith, right? right? No, definitely Smith. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All That's day Smith. He <laughs> played so well on the first day. He's a guy who can get it done in these windy conditions. He's Australian. Yeah. He, the way he keeps his ball flight and the way he's so good around the greens and the fact that he is a really good putter. Uh, and the fact that it seems like DJ might have the yips with his driver. And if the windy yeah. conditions are in his face at all, and he's going three wood all off right. the, off of it, like, yeah, I, I'm taking, and, I'm taking and Friday night, a lot of temptation isn't, for Dustin. Yeah. Is it? Well, isn't Augusta, the, <laughs> yes, isn't absolutely. Augusta the scene of the crime? Oh, it uh, is. Yeah. When he yeah. fell down the stairs. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so I know a couple guys who fell down the stairs. They're getting the help they need. Uh, <laughs> exactly. And it was, it was not, a, so, I mean, technically an accident. So, I told you that in confidence, John, <laughs> you mentioned earlier, Morikawa might be a guy to fade. I'm seeing a matchup prop They're They're, they're playing together. Zalatoris uh, over Morikawa minus one Oh five slight dog. Wait, two, so two minus one fifteen. Morikawa versus will Z. What do you like? Who's getting the one Oh five? One Oh five is uh, minus one Oh five Zalatoris. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I go with Willie Z. That's a that's a coin flip though. You can find a better matchup. Don't put money on that. It's a, right. like, what are yeah, what are some on. ones? Uh, again, I'm I'm hoping uh, Joaquin was having a great round or or at least yeah, he just got he got fucked at eighteen. Yeah, he he fell apart. Double bogey on eighteen yeah, from happens. knocking him down to minus it three happens. minus one. He's matched up head to head against Matt Fitzpatrick. Matt Fitzpatrick hmm. laying minus one twenty five yeah. against my boy Joaquin at plus one oh five. Give me Joaquin. I, yeah, I like Joaquin here. Give right? me Joaquin. And uh, like you said, you guys almost broke up the marriage. Like fits to me, and it, look, it just keeps it. It, it proves itself. The guy <laughs> makes pass. That's fine. And but he doesn't make birdies. Joaquin holes out. He can make birdies. He's good. With I was his loving his game. I didn't, yeah. I hadn't watched a ton of him coming into this, but I had seen enough and like the numbers research was kind of pointing me that way. And I liked what i saw again. He fell apart there on the double bogey at 18, but other than that, I, I was pretty happy. Yeah. I mean, that's going to happen at Augusta, though, man, you put yourself in a bad spot. You get, you, you're going to make a big number and it really wasn't even, it wasn't, it was his fault. Right. But he, he just kind of got, he was just a little short and then that's it. I mean, kind of all goes to shit. And I, I trust, I trust, Neiman to be able to move hmm. and and actually and actually score tomorrow versus Fitzy. Love it. Uh, we're gonna get some more matchups. Talk a little. Uh, any other uh, locks that Capper has for the next couple of days? Mm-hmm. While we're doing that, shout out PropSwap.com where America goes to buy and sell real sports bets. 
Again, we're taping this Friday night live on YouTube. You could be sweating out uh, some uh, some sweet masters uh, action, and maybe you're looking to unload, or maybe you're looking to buy someone else's ticket. You want to get in on the Scotty Scheffler sweepstakes? Uh, someone's you know worried about a you know a hedge situation. They want to unload it again. That's what's so great about prop swap. Or maybe you want to buy some MLB futures. Saw how awesome the Phillies looked opening day. Bats came alive. Dominating as they're about to take down to the World Series. All you got to do go to propsoft.com, promo code SGP, instant deposit match, dollar for dollar, up to $500. And of course, Stable Duel, Stable Duel Saturdays, as we're calling it here around the office. Fire up that extra screen, get the TVG going, watch the ponies, watch your cash pile up. Stable Duel, free to play. Uh, if you want to do the free games, they also have paid games if you want to. Make some big cash. Uh, tons of information they have on the horses, the races. They can really help you uh, set up uh, your stable and put together a nice little winning stable. Download now over at stableduel.com. See how many winners you can pick in your stable. And I'll see you in the winner circle. Play, race, win. Uh, Capper. Is it is it just as awesome live, Capper? <laughs> it is. It's so fun. Capper, John Rom. I Ooh, I feel like oh we no. we owe ourselves to talk about John Rom. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, because he came Capper in. He, <laughs> I do love him, but I mean, yeah, but you were a, now. Correct me if I'm wrong. You weren't even you weren't suggesting Rom on the show, were you? No. Yeah. No. But I'm saying like he's very he's disappointed a bunch. He's going head to head in the matchups against Rory. Rory is plus one of five. Rom is minus one twenty five. What's your take on those two fellas? I mean, they're both blah. Like, I don't know, man. Like Rory can't hit his fucking wedges. Ron blames mud balls and can't make a fucking putt. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. Rory seemed happy that he fucking shot like one over on the first day and didn't do good today. I don't know. I, I, I'm just leaving them both alone. That's another coin flip, man. You can find better matchups. Like you don't well, just what, have to take the big names just because it's yeah. a big name. What, what do you like as far as uh, stuff uh, matchups you do like that aren't the big names? So where, love, where where are the where are the guys who grind it out grind in the golf right. circuit? What are you no, what are you me, looking hold at? Hold on, let me get my sun my my uh <laughs> my uh flesh glasses on so I don't get hit with anything. So I, I love Gooch over champ. And it's oh, only minus oh, oh. minus uh, one twenty five. Gooch great. fits his golf course really, really well. Um, he's a better player than Cameron Champ, and the fact that Champ made the cut. And uh, look, I gave him out on the DFS show. He plays well here for whatever reason, didn't play that well today. And Gooch is a Gooch is a much better play and only having to lay 125 for that. Give me that all day. Um, he's much better in the win. Gooch was alive for a first round leader too. Uh, he was, briefly. he was, and he's still alive for uh, I bet. Oh wait, did uh, I said him? Did Hovland make the cut or no? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay, so he's still alive because I I bet Gooch as best uh, OSU State alum at plus two thirty. Uh, it was basically him Wolf. It, it was him Wolf and uh, Hovland, and I thought there was value on that. So now, um, are, are you playing Gooch at minus one fifty, or are you going to lay the one and a half strokes at minus one twenty five? I think he's saying he got minus one twenty five. Oh, you got minus twenty five. Yeah, I got minus one twenty five. Okay. Right. He's a sharp Sean. He doesn't bet these <laughs> delayed prices. He's well, you never down. know. Whatever, whatever books you're getting at, uh, yeah, so ter- ter- not the win bet, which is the best book in the world, which I wish yes. I had access to. So DeSantis, get your shit together. Um, <laughs> Ooh, so I like this wow. calling out, calling out political figures. That's right. And then uh, the I views also of Boston Capper are his own. Not no, that we, the- we support legalization. <laughs> Legalize yeah. it, baby. Yeah, uh, Capper, what else you got? What the are leash, some other leash, matchups? Leishman over power. Ooh. Um, Leishman is really good in the wind. He caught a couple of bad breaks today. And the fact that Powell, Seamus power even made the cut. I know it, it hurts me to talk against my Irish brethren, but uh, nice. yeah, Leishman is just a, as a, a world-class golfer uh, power is on a nice little tear. He won the barber saw and was competitive in some stuff, but yeah, give me Leishman in this stuff. He's a guy who can actually Done. go out and compete in the wind and in a major and yeah, fucking Leishman all day. And then Hatton, uh, like I said, my uh, my favorite golfer to watch on fucking tour against Sergio. Uh, it, Hatton is just built for the conditions that are going out tomorrow. They're both going to come out in a in a tough spot and give me Hatton. Like I, don't, mm-hmm. I just don't trust Sergio's putting, especially if it's windy. He can't he can't hit a putt if it's normal. Never mind if the ball is fucking moving around and oscillating on the green. Okay, <laughs> um, 
And then, uh, and then I'm, I'm going to keep riding JT. I got to try to make up my outright money on him somehow. Um, and um, JT against Cantlay and his stupid fucking shuffle on his putting, uh, which makes me insane. And Cantlay, uh, his irons are loose again. They just lose again. He looked okay yesterday, and they came back loose today. Uh, yeah, I'm so going to take JT. This. Yeah, I have so much JT. action. Right I know. Now. I was just going to say, this is a slippery slope. Yeah, we got to stop. Normally, that's, that's enough. Normally, <laughs> I just, you know, Friday night comes. I'm like, oh, you know, I got. I'm rooting for Lowry. He's like, he's in the mix. He's second place. He's five back. Uh, it's a, it's a 50 to one. I'll just kind of enjoy and watch that. And then now I got all this matchup action, but but let's ask so, another serious question. Sure. Very serious. So, sure. I, because we haven't really gotten to the nuts of it, which is which one of these relative long shots are we taking yes. to win the masters? Better. Okay. So Scotty Scheffler plus 100 is kind of a no. pussy bet. No one's a roof for Scotty. No one's I have Do a pit. I have an idea. Dustin okay. Johnson, 14 to 1. Lowry, 12 to 1. Cam Smith, 13 to 1. Matsuyama, 15. Justin Thomas, 15 to 1. Sunjay M, 22 to 1. Neiman is somehow 45 to 1. Oh, that was that double bogey at the end. Double bogey. Uh, double bogey Morikawa, yeah. 26 to 1. Z- Will Z, 35. Uh, all right, here, here's Corey what, Connor, 65. Why is Schwartzel in second place? All the other guys in that range are are below 20 to one, I believe. Yeah. Uh, wh- why is he 60 to one? Why? Because no, he's 75, 75 to one on win bet. Oh, well, even because, better. There you go. Because he's not going to win. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter. He's we like want a, we want to sweat. Okay. Well, it's so, not about winning. It's about the sweat. <laughs> so, well, listen. If you want to sweat, and and like I said. Uh, I would I, so I already got him at fifty to one. I put him out in our uh, best bets article oh, uh, on sportsgamblepodcast sure. dot com. Uh, uh, Shane Lowry, the Irish brethren, oh. uh, at twelve to one in windy conditions for guys who don't bet golf a lot. Mm. You know, twelve to one seems like a big win. So you know, if you bet basketball, <laughs> like you that. bet football and stuff like that, and, and twelve to one tickles your fancy, then yeah, let's uh, you know. Let's throw, I'm officially adding Charles Schwartzel uh, to the slate <laughs> just because. Oh, I already have my Shane Lowry. Because at Capper said one. absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Just stick Let's it in, in Capper's uh, pipe there. Yeah. No, it's fine. I, and I like the Lowry play again. That's why I liked Lowry originally because he won the goddamn Open Championship. Absolutely. Apologies to the YouTube people. They hate when I you uh, break the commandment by saying GD. God damn. Yeah. yeah they're, so they're you a have a lot of bunch. Southern listeners. Yeah, we can't. Oh, <laughs> they don't want to hear my rant about driving up nine, I 95. Then I I'm, I'm not eating meat today. So it balances out. Is it Sh- late? Yes. Come on. Really? You're going to hell. Shane Lowry. No, I had no idea. Shane Lowry. I already got down at 45 to one. Right. I kept so hearing the, about this wind of uh, this weather. Yeah. And we saw a little bit of the wind, but we're we're supposed to get a ton of weather tomorrow. Yeah, weather's gonna be shit tomorrow. It's gonna be cold and extra windy. So if you want a guy whose number hasn't moved, yeah. I mean, Cam Smith, dude, he's fucking he's 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 two under, he's six shots off, and he's a wizard around the greens. He plays really well in the wind. You're not so with like Shane Lowry, where we got him pre-tournament at 50. You were getting Cam Smith at 14 pre-tournament. Now you're getting him at 12 to 14 anyway. If you want to double dip on Cam, you got two days of you got two days of info. That's somebody who can absolutely go catch Scotty Scheffler. So at twelve to one, Cam Smith, I don't hate that at all. I feel like Justin Thomas. Huh? I mean, just I, what were the odds pre tournament? Fourteen. Yeah. So the fact that he, he's right around the same, and he got like he showed he can get hot. He's like seven said. shots back, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. So Sc- Scotty's got. So not only is Scotty gonna have to shit the bed. Right, he's gonna have to go out and shoot over par. And okay. <laughs> I'm just listen. You want to waste your money? Waste your fucking. I money. feel like we're doing the. <laughs> we do want to waste no, our no, money. That's why my, we that, had you on the show. That's not my impression of you, Capper. That's my impression, that's of, impression Scotty of Scotty Scheffler, Scheffler, aka Big Bird. I feel like I'm doing the the Dave Chappelle. Like, okay, like okay. Big Bird's on drugs. Right, right, oh yeah, <laughs> that's an all that's an all time Chappelle special. Uh, Oscar, why are you so grouchy, <laughs> bitch? I live in a trash can. Trash can. <laughs> oh, the best. The best. Oh. All right. Any other, anything else uh, you want to give out, Capper, before we let you go? So no, t- just to, seriously. If anybody has access to those over over round per golfer, okay. I like that. Uh, yeah, just go I hammer like those, angle, man. Yeah. yeah, definitely hammer them. Uh, just set it and forget it, and go back and check at the end of the day. And I mean, it's it's worked. It, it, it's not as it's not as good a return as the first half unders, but as positive as positive. So uh, yeah, love it. 
All right, so you de- I definitely shouldn't take Schwartzel to have the third round lead. It's listen, 66 man. to one. Listen, he, oh, the, oh, the third round lead. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's five <laughs> shots back. It's gonna be windy. I don't know. Throw fucking twenty bucks on it. Give yourself a fucking shit and giggle. Who cares? Let it ride, baby. Bucks. I like to shit and giggle, so I'm in. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you as always, uh, Boston Capper, for joining us. Cheers, Give him a follow on Twitter at Boston underscore Capper. Follow the Golf Gambling Podcast on Twitter at Golf Gambling Pod and subscribe to the Golf Gambling Podcast if you haven't already. You're missing out. Uh, tons of great winners. Uh, Twitterless Steve as well. Great show. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green. He is Ryan. Sean, they're saying Kevin Na as well. Okay. Chris, let it ride.